The best RPE range to train at is between a 6 and an 8, occasionally higher, occasionally lower, and I'm going to explain why. If you're training lower than an RPE of 6, it probably isn't enough intensity to quite maximize any adaptations that we're trying to go for, whether it be muscle, strength, performance, etc. And if you're training above an RPE of 8, those sets have an exceptionally high fatigue cost that where the fatigue is probably more than any positive muscle or strength adaptations that you are generating. Now, why would you train higher than an 8 and lower than a 6 ever then? Generally, you would train higher than an 8 when you want to test your max or squeeze out that last little bit at the end of a training cycle or in prep for a competition. Also knowing that you need to reduce volume and you're not really going to optimize hypertrophy during this time period. Or if you're taking the volume-based approach and you want to squeeze out a little bit of extra muscle growth at the end of a training cycle, you're not going to optimize strength because your volume is going to have to be significantly higher. Now, why would you train at a lower RPE than 6? Generally, you do this when you are recovering from injury or you want a light training block to dissipate fatigue. I also find lower RPEs valuable when you just want to have an easy day because you're feeling burnt out and you just got to get in the gym and get it done. Sometimes having an easier workout makes this less daunting. At the end of the day, though, you can train at whatever RPE you want, though, and you're probably going to generate both strength and muscle growth. As long as you're consistent and you do it over a long enough time frame, get in the gym. It's always better to lift than to not lift. And one last final thought, it's generally better to consistently undershoot your RP than it is to overshoot it. Because there's always time for going heavy later.